on stage performing in the shows for as long as the other sea lions. So he gets very excited, especially when there's a big crowd to show off in front of. So anything can happen in the next five minutes. <laughs> we'll start with a wave, I think. If you all stick an arm in the air and wave at Miguel, you might get a wave back, if you're lucky. Can you manage a wave? Oh, that's a big wave. Oh, good, that's a good start. If he does anything well, if he does anything that's not mischievous, or if you just see him clapping like this, Look, Johnny, give him fish. a round of applause. He will Especially this one, love human attention. They love attention from the training staff, but they love attention from the audience too. And they do respond to clapping. People find it hard to believe. But when he hears that sound, he links it with doing something correctly. So he knows when you respond by clapping, he's done something well. He can bite, and he will on occasion. They only normally bite to, uh, to let you know they're feeling nervous or anxious in some way. But this one will bite just to get a laugh. Um, and he will do it just to get a reaction. But he can be quite friendly. Do I get a flipper shake? Yeah, and a kiss. Oh, you're in a good mood. That's good. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Very good. Now, the four sea lions we have here, they're all the same species. They're California sea lions. And they originate not just from California, but they're found all the way along the west coast of America. They can also be seen as far north as Canada and as far south as the Gulf of Mexico. They're not endangered. Or threatened. They're doing pretty well in the wild, I'm pleased to say. They face a threat from pollution and from predators, but um, despite that, they're doing well with an estimated three quarters of a million of them found along that stretch of coastline. That's the reason we keep a male group here. We have bred them at Flamingo Land in the past. We may do again in the future, who knows? But at the moment, we keep a bachelor group. There is another reason for that. They breed really well. So if we had any females within a few years, we could be overrun with baby sea lions. We need a bigger pool and a lot more staff because the four we have are quite enough to cope with at the moment. But we may breed them again in the future. Now this one was bred in Barcelona Zoo and he arrived here when he was two. He was untrained then. And we started training straight away and it never stops. We're always teaching them something. And I just reward him either with a piece of fish or vocal praise when he does something well. It's called positive reinforcement. Now the first thing we taught him to do is simply follow a target this thing in my hand, it's a stick basically, with that yellow spot on the end. And they get a reward the first time they put their nose on the spot like that. So if they touch the spot without biting it, they get a piece of fish. After about ten pieces of fish, you find that they start to follow it like this. Up and down, like right, in any direction. And it's all down to rewarding them for touching the spot. After a day or two, they should follow it anywhere. <laughs> Them. We train them once they've built up a bar, if they don't respect you, they won't do anything. So you've got to build up that trust and respect. It's a two-way street. You've got to trust and respect them, and they've got to trust and respect you too. And uh, we've built up quite a bond now, haven't we? Now, the... the next thing we usually train them to do is lay down, lay still, and allow us to check them from nose to tail. All the other sea lions learn to do that after about six months. Six years after I started training him to do that, he still won't do it. But we're going to try it anyway. Now all I'm going to do is put the target on the floor. He should lay down next to it without biting it. So, okay, don't try biting the stick, whatever you do. Let go, I'll warn you, don't bite it, lay still, good boy. Now his problem is, his problem is, he likes to bite the target because people laugh at him. And he has to watch you to check you're watching him. He also has to watch me to check I'm watching him, and he can't watch me and you and sit still at the same time. But when he does, we're going to give him that reward. All I want you to do is calm down, relax, lay still. I know you find it virtually impossible, but if you can do that for about 10 seconds, you will get a big mackerel, okay? That's not the yes. Now, uh, all we want him to do is lay there and relax. Eventually, we hope the vet will be able to come and do his job properly. Uh, the vet can stand here where I'm standing with the other three sea lions. They'll lay perfectly still. The vet can examine them all from nose to tail without any problem at all. But Miguel is doing quite well today. This is uh, quite a miracle, actually, that he's laid still for so long. And although it's all very basic, it's not amazing to watch. It's a very important part of our training, which most of them pick up quickly. Not this one, but we're getting there. Now, the whistle has been well done. Well done. It lets him know he's done that exercise well. And uh, you probably can detect.
detect from the surprise in my voice that uh, that is quite unusual for him to lay still without fighting the target for so long. We've recently thought he'd go up and jump! Jump! Whoa! Oh, that's nice. so they can glide through the water very quickly. As he dives in the water now, he makes a bit of a splash, but nothing compared to the first time he dived in. He did a belly flop and everybody over there got drenched. Are you ready? Another time, another countdown. Three, two, one, jump! Yay! Yes, he loves doing that. Well done. Give yourself a little round of applause. That was quite good. Stop him from falling. It's not a trick. There you go. People say to me it's a magic oh, trick, it's a circus trick. It's nothing to do with trickery, it's about skill, it's about practice. And this one has just beaten his own personal best. A bit of a problem, but despite that, they're doing well. That's the reason we don't breed them here. We have done in the past, we may do again in the future, but at the moment we keep a male group. Because the lion couldn't do this. He couldn't coordinate the body movement and use his whiskers and watch where he was going, which is what Marvin's got to do here. A lot of concentration and coordination needed when you're balancing and moving around. Now it's quite hard getting up and down steps without dropping the skittle, but it's incredibly hard to dive off the edge of the stage into the pool without dropping it, but he can do it. It's an amazing day of concentration. Go do it again, show off if you want. That is brilliant, man. Just keeping his nose direct if you need the skittle. For an absolutely perfect balance. 10 out of 10 you get for that, without a doubt. That would be it. Oh, here he comes! 